Good afternoon, everyone. First and foremost, I want to thank God for this wonderful moment. It's such a pleasure to be standing here before all of you, and I feel humbled to be given this opportunity to be welcoming all of you instead of scolding you. I think uh, now that you're graduating from Tetsuo College, it means that you know what everyone else had to go through before you. Wearing your uniform properly, making sure you reach class before 8.45, otherwise the gate is locked, trying to finish your assignments, trying to make sure your attendance hits 75%, otherwise you might have to be penalized for something trying to participate in every single activity and still maintain your marks. If you're a hostler trying to make it before they close the mess so that you don't go hungry because you missed dinner, you know that it was not easy. So before I speak further, can I ask the class of 2023 to kindly stand up once? Congratulations. I'd also like to thank all the parents, your family, friends, for trusting the institution with something more valuable than possessions or anything else. For trusting us to take care of the people you love. And now for being with us right now to celebrate their success. Right now, whether we like it or not, our fates are tied. You may have hated the college or maybe you love the college, but whatever it is, the name of the college goes along with you. So, if you are successful, it makes us successful. If you fail in what you do, we also fail. Keep in mind that wherever you go now, you bear the name Tetsuo College. And when you succeed, no one will celebrate as much as you, as this institution and all your juniors as well. I hope that for each of you, as you go on in life, as you become alumni, you don't forget where you came from that you will all keep in touch and be there for once in a lifetime moments like today. I'm telling you this because the fact is with me and my friends and my classmates, it didn't happen. And if you talk and ask your parents how many of their college mates are they still in touch with, it doesn't happen. Because as you go through life, what happens also is you lose friends. You lose them maybe to alcohol. You lose them maybe to sickness. You lose them also because some people become successful and some people feel shy to contact after that. And some people just, it's like they've just disappeared and you just, nobody has any touch with them. I mean, nobody keeps in touch with them. So for each of you, I hope that at least during your time over here, you have built friendships, you have made connections which will last you for a lifetime and also help you professionally in life. The most important thing I feel is that you need to remember that actions speak louder than words. And in a society like ours right now, we need the right actions. So I hope that you keep this in mind, all of you, that when you become successful or you become reach a certain position, wherever you are, okay, that there are enough educated people, there are enough smart people, and there are enough rich people in Nagaland. But I think what we don't have enough is, we don't have enough good people. 
So the most important thing that I want you all to take away from this is to always be ethical. Please remember our college mission and vision. You are here to empower people towards lifelong excellence. And those people also include you. Because from here is just a start. And once you empower yourself and you reach a position, it is your responsibility to create a positive impact in the world. What you cannot do is just sit at home and talk about the problems. You need to now act to change and to make things right. Life is so unpredictable. The fact that, unfortunately, even though we plan this event, and I know our, comment, our honorable commencement speaker, Nichite Dulu, really wishes he could be here. We were just chatting a while ago, and he said, I am sad. But something like the weather, something like this, is just so unpredictable. A flight being canceled, a flight being delayed, is just unavoidable and I know that for each of you as you go on in your life you may face situations like this what do you do do you just throw up your hands and say I give up no we're gonna try to find a way and our commencement speaker is still gonna try to speak to you from the airport virtually in case there is a problem in the connection or anything, please bear with us. Maybe that is the first lesson in life you're going to learn <laughs> for your badge. Please bear with us and there will be something else, you know, to be said anyway afterwards in case that doesn't happen. But please take our good wishes. When I speak, I am speaking on behalf of all the teachers I'm speaking on behalf of all the juniors, and I'm speaking on behalf of all the entire Tetsu College community from the governing council to probably your parents and well-wishers who could not be here. We want you all to be happy, we want you all to succeed, and we want you to always strive for excellence. Thank you very much, good luck, and God bless you.